Yo, yo, yo. What's going on? It's your boy, LG Grown. Um, we here once again. Let's talk. Um, what's new? What's coming up? Um, I'm just, uh, it's a couple of things I got to talk about. Um, just coming up. But, you know, I just want everybody that, um, just want to give y'all just a reminder that life is too short. You know, live every day like it's your last. And I know that's crazy to say, um, but it's reality because, you know, tomorrow is not promised to none of us. So you got to live every day as it's your last day. And, you know, if you if you have that special one, you know, hold on to that special one. You know, don't be afraid or don't hesitate to tell a person that you're afraid, you know. But I just hope everybody's safe. Um, I hope you're with your loved ones, your family, you know. Um, also, RIP to um, Pat Stay. I didn't get a chance to post. Um, you know, that definitely was a blow to the battle rap community. Um a uh, big shout to his loved ones, his family members. Um, but we're going to talk about um, Summer Madness. Um, they just announced yesterday the full card. Um, my opinions on a couple of things about the card. Um, as of right now, I think my level for the card, um, I'm still... I'm a level, it's a level 7 out of 8 of the card, being the matches, I think need to be a little bit, I think they need more matches for me to say this, this is a, this is a great summer madness, but you know, let's talk about it, um, so, Smack dropped the trailer, the full card, and now we have a gun title, Summer Madness. <laughs> Let's, it is what it is. Um, um, so, you know, obviously the three matchups that they had that was uh, before they released the card was Sue Sir versus JC, uh, Tay Rock versus Swamp. And easy to block captain versus calico um with now releasing the entire card now you have chess versus shotgun shook and Danny Myers versus Fonz for the final of the summer um summer madness there's a possibility there's another battle um I'm hearing luring around that a possible True Foles versus, um, what's his name? K-Slay? K-Slay? Am I saying it right? If I'm not saying it right, please don't judge me. I'm not great with names. But, um, there's a possibility. I Don't quote me. Don't sit there and say, well, that nigga said, nah. I said it's a possibility. I'm not on URL's payroll. So, you know. Um, but it's very interesting um on these battles um let's get into it on the bottom from the top danny myers versus Fonz. um very interesting this is definitely a big look for Fonz and also danny myers why well, i say that because danny myers been in this league for so long that he's been getting passed on these big battles like these opportunities of these big ones because some Summer Madness is like WrestleMania. That's that's what that is. You know, um Gnome is like uh um what's a big uh SummerSlam or something like that. Those are two big events that's that the battle battle league has and Danny Myers really doesn't get the opportunity. They always pass on him. And the resume that um, Danny Myers has been doing this year has been amazing. I mean, battling Tay Rock, the beginning. Um, he had a crazy battle with uh, Nun Nun. He had a battle with Av. 
I mean, Danny Myers has, I mean, he also has, you know, other battles from other leagues, but, you know, that's near here or there. But in this battle, this is a big one for Danny. Um, also for Fonz, his big opportunity to put a key mark in the game. You're in the fir your first Summer Madness, just like Danny. What are you going to do? Are you going to execute? Are you going to deliver like we know you should? But, you know, when you get ahead of yourself, you know, that's when problems happen. Um, if I was a gambling man, um, I would put my money on Danny because he's more experienced. 2-1, um, I would say, for Danny. And the next battle, Shotgun Shug versus Chest, another a gun title member. Um, well, first off, let's go to the history. They, they had a battle before. This is a rematch. Um, and you dub. So this, um, this battle itself, it's going to be a little bit more interesting because Shotgun Shug has been on a run. Let's just, let's say it like that. Shotgun, his last two battles within a week. He had drugs, and then he had stumbles, and he beat both of them without, I mean, with the preparation. Um, that's a little bit scary, and now you getting this bag, because he knows this one is bigger than both of them put together, because it's on Summer Madness. So it's like, that don't mean nothing, but it this means something if I come in here and execute and beat this person like I should. Um, chess, chess, ha chess has been doing his thing this year. I mean, minus the hiccup loss that he had against Calico, he did bounce back with um that um that Benji battle. Um, is it Benji? Benji? Benji Low? Benji Low? I think it's Benji Low. Like I said, I'm not great with names. Please don't chop my head off. Um, Benji Low. Um. So I believe Chess, I think Chess is motivated because now you get to see all gun titles on one card. Who is going to slip up as a gun title member? That's, that's going to be the crazy part. Who is going to take the first L in Summer Madness if I'm gun titles? Is it Chess? Is it Easy? Is it Surf? Is it rock? That's that's the question that everybody's gonna be wondering. Who's gonna take that loss in gun titles? Some of madness. But if I was a gambling man, <laughs> I'm going to pick. I'm gonna pick chess in a slight edge, two one against shotgun. Sure, shotgun don't bite my head off. I know where I'm from. I'm just calling it down the line. I am not biased. I. You know what I'm saying? I just think that you're it's it's not that you have now you gotta write a little bit more detail for chess for this summer madness. Because now this is gonna be a bigger crowd than what you just faced against drugs and stumbles. And it's not saying you're not afraid of the big stage and none of that. I just think that this might be a little bit. If you didn't have, if you had a little bit more time, I would have leaned towards you. I think with this short period of time, and Chess ain't had no battles, so this is this is more in his favor. But like I said, all it takes is a stumble, and you can easily take the battle. And I will recap and say who took the battle. All right, let's go to the next one. All right, uh, easy to block captain versus Calico. Um, to me, I think this is going to be battle of the night. Everybody's talking about it. Um, you got two people that's pretty pretty much the same. They talk heavy. Um, they they go by energy. Um, it's definitely going to be a battle that I will I'm going to love to watch. And see who's going to out talk each other. Um, Calico the, the vet versus the upcoming easy to block captain. 
Um, this is definitely a battle that is going to be hard to put on. But if I was a gambling man, I'm going to lead towards the vet. I'm going to lead towards Calico. I think Calico might be the only one that can be able to um to clip easy to block captain on the run he's been having because he's been having an amazing run and i think he's the only one that can be able to stop it is calico a slight 2-1 edge it's going to be a really a close one it's going to all come down to the third round it's all going to come down to that third round and i got calico edging it by the slither all right next battle Tay Rock versus Swamp. Um, first off, uh, Swamp has came a long way. Um, you know, he was on at one point. Swamp was that dude that everybody wanted a piece of Swamp, and then he had a little hiccup against uh, Casey J, and she kind of she kind of stopped his his run from being a one of the elite upcoming battler, but um, after going through this um 100k tournament, making it to the final round, having that slip up against JC because everybody was saying Swamp was beating JC, uh, we were just keeping it real. If JC didn't didn't choke, Swamp had that battle, so I'm I'm keeping it a buck. But um, you're going against you're going against Tay Rock. Tay Rock don't do no mess ups. Tay Rock don't do no mess up. Tay Rock is very consistent when it comes to this battle shit. And if you know Tay Rock, Tay Rock been marked. He been checking off your name for quite some times. He had a he had a kill list. He was like, I want him, I want him, and I want him. That 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 day when y'all was on Wednesday night talking smack. When you were talking smack to Tay Rock and. Tay Rock can't forget that day. Tay Rock said, "All right." He seen you slowly rising, trying to make your opportunity, and Tay Rock was just like, "Yeah, I want you to do good, so I can just crush you." Um, and and I that's what I believe, and I believe Tay Rock is definitely going in that battle. He's going to win. I don't think he's going to kill him. I don't think it's going to be a 3 and 0. A lot of people saying it's going to be a 30. I believe it's going to be a 2-1. I think the first round Swamp is going to shock the world the first round cuz I think he's going to take that first round. And then the rest is history. Second round, we all know Tay Rock is the second round king. Let's not play this. And third round, Tay Rock's going to try to hit you with a haymaker. You better hope it ain't a um, young body bitch or something like that. I don't, I don't know. But um, yes, that's what I got. Tay Rock, two one. Let's go. Main event, anticipated. Um, definitely is very interesting in two matchups. Suser versus JC. You got. Big stage surf, and you got the pin heavy JC. Now, both bring two strong elements to the table. So surf can write his ass off in the way he puts it together. He can write his ass off. He is one of the tops in the game. JC is one of the top pin in the game. What is going to win in the end? Now, we have to understand battle rap. Battle rap is like wrestling. You got fan, you got performance, and you got delivery. We already know what Sue Surf can bring. He's got the fan base. His fan base is phenomenal. They stick by that man. He brings performance every time. I'm not going to say every time, but when he's on his shit, he brings his performance. And crowd control. Surf has that in the bag. The problem that JC has is crowd control. He doesn't have crowd control to say that when he knows he's doing his thing, 
to like either don't put everything in one bag in one round. If you see you you cooking, all right, let me back off and use that for my second round. He got to learn what 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 works and what's not working. You know, JC's JC's going to just spit what he wrote and if it hits, it hits. That's what JC does. Surf is more into he he going to say what he got to say. He know it's hot. The crowd go crazy. Shut up. Shut up. They go bananas. Um, This is definitely going to be a tough one. T are we getting the three-round surf? Are we getting just two-round surf or three-round surf? That's the question. I think, in my mind, if you look back to history, every time surf want to prove a point, he comes out dominant, and and it's, it's it's look at the history. John John, everybody thought John John was going to beat Surf. He went in there and thirty them. Geechee Gotti, everybody thought Geechee was going to beat Surf because he only shows two rounds. He went in there and beat him. Cortez. Now this is where y'all look at the iffy part. Everybody's questioning him about stealing the bars with the rapper. And then now he has JC. What do you think he's going to do? Now he's going to go in there and show y'all. Oh, y'all think I steal bars? Y'all think I steal bars? All right. Watch this. He going now he, I, to me personally my opinion, I think he's going to spit some crazy. It's going to be a haymaker in there. You're going to be like Damn, you gonna have because the thing about surf is that when you listen to his bars, you really gotta put your ear to listen because he's saying something and you got it, and then you gotta be good enough to catch it. You can be like, "What? Damn!" It's just, it's just how that's gonna be. Um, if I was a gambling man. <laughs> I'm picking Surf 2-1. I think the crowd, the bigger crowd that is going to be there, Surf is going to be able to isolate that. And the more that they eat get them on, and not to mention you got gun titles there. Him and Tay Rock. Everybody knows when Tay Rock is there, it's like another burst of energy for Surf. That is like the ultimate hype man for Surf. I think this is not going to... It's going to be a good battle, but if at the end, it's going to be Surf 2-1. All right? Now, let me know in the comments who you wanted to see at um, Summer Madness. I know a lot of people was thinking about Kayshawn, but who is there Kayshawn could battle? I am a little disappointed DNA is not on this card. Um, I did hear that he was trying to battle Jerry West, but I guess... Things couldn't get right. You know, that's another person that I wouldn't mind seeing. I would not mind not I wouldn't mind not seeing um Hollow. Hollow to Don. Um Rum Nitty. Um there is you know, there's just so many people I wouldn't mind seeing on Summer Madness. Um as um it, they're 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 just it's it's so many. Um, but for the most part, so far, this one is going to be fairly decent, a 7 out of 8, I give it, but, um, like I said, I would love to hear your opinions, who do you think should have been on Summer Madness, who, who do you see for the next card, what is your predict, what future battles do you want to see on URL, you know, Hit me up on the comments, all right? It's your boy, LG Grown. We will be back for the recap of Summer Madness. Stay tuned. September 24th. I repeat, September 24th. Live. Caffeine. For free. Yes, I said it. F-R-E-E. -E, free.
You do not have to pay. It is free. Make sure you got the app downloaded. Make sure you you um put a reminder on your phone. You don't want to miss Summer Madness. All right? But it is your boy. If you did not know, we will let's talk. I'm going to stay tuned. We're going to have more topics. We will be coming up with sports coming up. Peace.